Shalom. Call Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakudash. The honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the uh, scattered elect that are scattered among the four corners of the earth, that be among the heathen, that be like unto the speckled bird. And to the Aquaf that are listening and learning, to you I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm. Uh, just a quick hit, a take on the, uh, on my take on the video um, or the movie, or the threat of the movie, uh, Saint Paul. Uh, and I've, you know, lots of brothers have done responses, which we all should have. I think it was uh, Elder Kazak that was the first one that alerted me of it. I don't know why. Well, you know what? I don't know. Remember if I alerted him or he alerted me. But nevertheless, we talked about, uh, you know, doing this video and that, you know, across the board, the men of the Great Millstone should be responding to it just to get out ahead of it, just to prove how much of a, a deceitful um, a person or people that he is. And the difference between, matter of fact, let's get some, let's get a scripture first, man. Let's get a, Ica. Six and a, 12. Um. I could read 11 too. Nah. Well, actually, 11 kind of fits too, man, because it is a deceitful weight. Because, uh, anyway, it says, Shall I? Micah 6, and, and, and the point is really in, in 12, but I'm going to read 11 as well. This is Micah 6 and, 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 and 12, um, 11. It says, Shall I count them pure with the wicked balances and with the bag of deceitful weights? For rich men thereof are full of violence, and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies. That being the key portion of the scripture. They have spoken lies, and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. All right? So they speak deceit. So the main reason, and I, I said it many, many years ago, the threat of that movie, I think, goes all the way back to 2012. And I, and I made a very bold statement, in the, or should I say I made a very true statement. And the statement was, is there is no way that they're going to bring that movie out until the, the, the famine of the words comes. Be, or, or, they have, or they have deleted or, or, or gotten control over our videos on the YouTube. Because there's way too many videos. Because if they put that movie out, it's going to send floods of people to the videos. And if they go to the videos, then they will see and hear the truth. And that we're opposite of the false of this this deceitful lie that they're trying to uh, put upon us because what they're trying to do is control the narrative and control the public opinion uh, uh, of, of of what we of you know who and what we stand for that's what they're trying to do all right so now they and and the the whole uh thing with this movie in the beginning it was supposed to star danny glove as a camp head the man named asher uh, Makai Pfeiffer was going to play a renegade Judite, and then they had some Ephraimite, some Puerto Rican, all right, who was uh, his his role. He was a police officer who went undercover to join the camp, all right, and discovered this uh, a rogue. And and the hold hold on, let me go back. But he joined the camp to spy, to you know, to do a criminal investigation or whatever it is that they they do. And when he started hearing the scriptures and the history, he began to believe. And I'm like, <laughs> that sounds about right. So he was like, wait a minute. These guys, this is the truth. So now you had this, this cop who's in conflict because he actually agrees and believes that, well, damn, we are the Israelites. <laughs> and, and, and this is true. All right. So he's trying to save the camp and save the men by exposing and stopping this Makai Pfeiffer character, you know, who's supposed to be this renegade Judite. What, they, what they're doing in this new one, 
so that they could force that, that false label of black Israelite, they took, they made no mention of the northern kingdom whatsoever to keep that division. Because Esau is a very cunning, deceptive devil. All right? That's what he is. All right? Um, so let's get a, a, a Psalms. Psalms 35. Let's now. And 20. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yeah, they open their mouth wide against me and say, aha, aha, I, I see it. So they're going to cre create this false narrative and they'll show like that whole like that whole thing with uh with the pull up boys. That was I still believe that that was all set up. All right. That was completely and totally set up. And they're going to and believe me, you they're going to use that footage and that whole narrative to and try to label all of Israel with that. All right. Because that was a very unwise thing. That's what happens when you don't really have elders and, and people over you and you just proclaim yourself a chief or elder or something to that. To, you just self-proclaim yourself that, you know, when you when you've been in, in, in the truth under a decade, you haven't even you don't even have uh, two, two uh, double digits under you yet. But yet you're an elder. All right. The uh, elder is not something that you label yourself. Elder is awarded to you, man. Kind of like a black belt. You know, you just don't, uh, you know, go to karate class, go to jujitsu class, well, maybe karate class today, because it's just total all about money. But, you know, unfortunately, jujitsu may be getting there too these days. But but you don't go and just get a belt. You, you have to put in the work to deserve and earn that belt. All right? Especially if the teachers that are over you are teaching and ruling well, man. All right. Because when you go out there and you fight or you compete, you not only represent yourself, you represent your, 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 your teacher, your school, your dojo, the whole thing, man. And we represent you. How about you? shy. We get into sparring matches with people through the spirit, spiritually, all the time, man, to the point to where a lot of people don't even want to deal with us anymore. Or they just become the deaf adder and, and block their ears when we bring out all the scriptures and the proof and the evidence proving that what we're saying is true, which we do all the time. All right. But nevertheless, um, getting back to this movie, they have completely taken away the element of the northern kingdom so that they can push that black lie and refer to people as, as black. Uh, let me hold up my coat. All right. That's black. No one's skin is this color. No one's. All right. That's an, uh, a self-proclaimed or not a self-proclaimed, but a, but a, a title that they placed upon uh, so-called Negroes, upon the tribe of Judah, Benjamin and Levi. So they can group the man with all the other dark people. Because you have Indians in India. Some of them right here, we go up on Devon. I could put the camera on some Indians that are darker than the, than, the, uh, than the darkest Negroes you've ever seen. But yet they're not called black. All right. Then you also have Hamites, you know, that are also dark. You even have Ishmaelites that are still dark. But none of them are called black, though. So that's a false... Speaking of false, this is uh, Psalms 5 and 6. It says, The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all works of iniquity, man. Verse 6. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leastingly. Yahweh will abhor the bloody deceitful man. I started at verse 5, Salakia. But the point was in verse was in verse 6 all right 
because because he is a bloody and deceitful man. That's why everything his everything that he's doing is going is going sour, man. It's all going sour. All right. So they like so like I said, they've taken away the element of the northern kingdom. Why? So they can control the narr narrative and push forth a false lie, push forth their own ideology. All right. But, you know, a script like this, this is a I'm, I'm going to close with this. This is Isaiah. 54 and 17, you know, all you church people should know that scripture and you sing songs about it. But it's true. Because a lie is also a weapon, man, and and, and one that that E has mastered, because he'll he'll control your history and lie about every damn thing. Change the meaning of this man went as far as to change definitions and meaning of words to cover his lies, you know. <laughs> like like uh, one of the prime examples is uh, the word virgin and the word ruddy. All right, he cha he completely changed those definitions to fit his lies. But this is Isaiah 54 and 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper in every tongue. Those lies in every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment. Thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the service of Yahweh and their righteousness is of me. See if Yahweh. So don't matter what they do, man. They're just going to fulfill prophecy. So, they say, you know, just go ahead and put your hands on the, on the men of the Lord, man. Just go hurry up and do it. All right. And watch what happens. All right. It said that when you put your when you, when you put your hands on the, on the men of the Lord this time, man, uh, Yahweh was gonna lift up a standard against you. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Abishai, by Hashem Rakak Wadash, Wa Ababa Shalom.